Hi there and welcome to the Daily Arsenal News Show. Let's dive into today's top stories. Liam Brady says he thought Arsenal messed up when they signed £30 million player, but he was wrong. Speaking on the stand with Emon Dunphy, Liam Brady has been discussing Martin Odegaard's recent form for Arsenal, and he says that he wasn't actually a fan of the signing when it was first announced. The pundit spoke about the Norwegian and his impact at Arsenal. He said, He came from Real Madrid, they bought him as a kid, Arteta took him on loan and I was never convinced. When we signed him, I thought, oh, that might be a mistake, but I'm not a great judge and Arteta is. He is nearly been pulling the strings. He works very hard and has a good understanding with all of the players around him. Brady says that he wasn't sure about Odegaard when he first signed, and to be honest, we can't blame him. The initial loan spell for Odegaard at Arsenal was nothing special, and it felt as though there were better options out there. However, since then, Odegaard has kicked on to an entirely different level, and now there is a case to make for him. Being the best player in the Premier League, Odegaard has proven to be a genuinely transformative signing at Arsenal, and at just £30 million, he may be one of the biggest bargains the Premier League has ever seen as well. Odegaard is a top player, and to say that he's proven Brady wrong would be an understatement. Liam Brady says £27 million Arsenal player is a different player when William Saliba is in the team. Arsenal could well be champions in a couple of months time and this has been an incredible journey for so many of these players. There have been numerous transformative signings and moments in recent years and perhaps one of the most crucial moments at Arsenal has been the introduction of William Saliba into the fold. The Frenchman spent a number of years biding his time and waiting for a chance at Arsenal and since coming into the side he is not only stamped his own mark on the team, he's made many of his teammates better. Speaking on the stand with Emon Dunphy, Liam Brady has been discussing Saliba's impact on this Arsenal side and he claims that the Frenchman has actually made Gabriel Magalis into a better player since arriving. He said, he is a bit like Van Dijk, maybe not as much of a footballer as Van Dijk and he's created this partnership with Gabriel. Gabriel made some mistakes last year and he cost Arsenal some key goals in important games, but when Saliba is with him, he is a different player. We lost Saliba at an important stage last year and it counted for a lot. Brady isn't wrong, Saliba has really helped Gabriel improve his game. The £27 million man was seen as being an incredibly rush player before he was paired with Saliba, but now that rashness is seen more as a healthy aggression as he can always rely on the Frenchman to mop up behind him and play a bit more conservatively. This complement each other so well and they have played a huge part in Arsenal's ascension to the top of the pile this season. Club ready to try again to sign Arsenal midfielder at the third attempt. Arsenal midfielder Mohamed El Nini is reportedly a transfer target for Turkish side Trabzonspor, who have also tried to sign him twice before. The experienced Egypt international hasn't been a regular for Arsenal for some time now, and he will be out of contract at the end of the season, making him a free agent. According to Fanatec, as cited and translated by Sport Witness, Trabzonspor are keen to sign El Nini one once he becomes available, with their manager Abdullah Avicii said to be particularly keen on working with the player again, having previously managed him in a loan spell at Besiktas. Arsenal fans surely won't be too disappointed to see El Nini leave, as there is surely no way back into the first team for him at this stage, even if he is the kind of player who's useful to have around as a backup option. El Nini makes sense as someone coming to the end of his time at the Emirates Stadium, and he probably won't be the only one heading for past Scherzen this summer. Speaking exclusively to Cout Offside for his daily briefing column recently, Charles Watts stated that he could see there being doubts over all three of Eden Kataya, Reese Nelson and Emil Smith-Rowe this summer. 
Backup defender Cedric Soares is another player heading towards the end of his contract, so could join El Nini in leaving on a free transfer, while Arsenal fans will also surely be expecting goalkeeper Aaron Ramsdale to move on after losing his place as number one to David Raya this season. Gabriel Jesus says £100,000 a week Arsenal player has been unbelievable in a training recently. Arsenal have a very competitive group of players in their squad, Mikel Arteta has built a terrific team, and although there are many players who are not regulars, all of them seem to be giving it their all in training. One such player is Edin Kataya, who is far away from being the first choice at the club. The Englishman, who hasn't started a game in the Premier League since New Year's Eve, is below Kai Havertz, Jesus, and even Leandro Trossard in the pecking order. It does seem like he has no future at Arsenal, but that hasn't stopped him from giving it his all in training every single day. Jesus says he is unbelievable, the Brazilian said as relied on Heiter's TV. It's not easy, not just for me, but for Eddie as well. Eddie, if you see the way he works, it's unbelievable, and Kai is amazing, having amazing games, he is scoring and helping a lot, that's the price you have to pay to be in a huge club, you have to fight to play, if you want to play, the best way you have to do is try to help when you get your chance. Edin Kataya looks like he will be leaving Arsenal this summer. The Englishman is already the fourth choice striker at the club and his game time will be further affected if the Gunners sign a new striker before the start of next season. Kataya will be up for sale in the summer and Arsenal are in a decent position when it comes to transfer negotiations. They have tied him down to a £100,000 a week contract until the summer of 2027. There will definitely be interest in Kataya this summer and Arsenal should be able to command a decent fee for the 24-year-old England international. Ben Jacobs claimed in the January transfer window that the Gunners want a fee between £30 million and £35 million for Nketiah. If Arsenal can get such a fee for him this summer, it would be a great bit of business. £45 million Arsenal player says he is ready to put his ego aside and play in a different position. One of the things that makes Arsenal such a strong team is their versatility. A number of players in their squad are capable of playing in more than one position, some can even play four or five different roles, which is just extraordinary. With everyone available now, Mikel Arteta can make all sorts of changes to his side, not just in terms of personal, but also with their positions. When a player who had dropped out of the Arsenal side, but has now been brought back in a different position, is Gabriel Jesus. The Brazilian, who is naturally a striker, has started on the left wing in each of the Gunners' last two games in the Premier League. In a press conference yesterday, Jesus was asked about his new role and whether he enjoys playing in a natural position. The 26-year-old claimed that he cannot complain at this stage of the season and is ready to drop his ego and play wherever Arteta wants him, he said, as relied on Heiter's TV. I don't want to come here and say, okay, Gabby doesn't care about playing as a winger, and then his position is normally nine. Like I said, this part of the season, I have never complained. I just want to work, and when I get my chance, I will show the manager, everyone, myself as well, the reason why I have to play this part of the season, I put my ego aside. And I just help the best way and do what the manager asks and wants and then I will help the team in the best way. Arsenal want to sign 45 million pound striker this summer but he is not too keen on a move to the Emirates. Mikel Arteta's Arsenal are expected to be in the market for a new striker this summer with plenty of names linked with a move to the Gunners and one of those players is currently shining in Serie A. Ivan Tony and Victor Osiman have been linked with a move to Arsenal, but another name is that of Dutch striker Joshua Zergzi. The 22-year-old is starring in a brilliant Bologna side that are pushing for the top four in Serie A. 
and an unlikely place in next term's Champions League. Zergzi has been excellent wearing the captain's armband on occasion under highly rated manager Thiago Motta. He and the likes of Scottish star Louise Ferguson are the driving force in this Bologna side. A player that has the technical class and the strength that has seen him compared to Dennis Bergkamp in the past, it has been claimed Arsenal are interested in Zergzi, who has had a hand in 17 goals in 32 games. Indeed, a previous report says Arsenal are even redying a £99,000 a week contract offer to land Zergzi. But now, an update on striker Zergzi from a transfer expert Dean Jones on Sports Lance on a Tuesday afternoon. Jones says that both Arsenal and Manchester United want to sign the £45 million rated striker this summer, but face competition from AC Milan and Juventus. Indeed, it's Zergzi's stance that comes as a bit of a blow. It's said Zergzi would rather remain in Italy than move to English football, perhaps because it is where he is and he feels his style of play suits Italy more so than it does the rough and tumble of England. Bologna will obviously prefer to sell him to a foreign club, if at all possible, rather than having to play against him next season. That could help Arsenal. But the star's stance is a blow for Arsenal and United. Arsenal ready to strongly rival Mon United for potential £40 million transfer of Premier League star. Arsenal are reportedly ready to try a summer transfer window move for Wolves midfielder Joao Gomez this summer, with the 23-year-old also on Manchester United's radar. Gomez has impressed in the Premier League in recent times, and it makes sense that he is now being linked with bigger clubs, as he is surely ready to move up a level next season. Man United were recently linked with a potential £40 million move for Gomez in a report from the Daily Mirror, while Arsenal are now set to be showing an even stronger interest, according to Odia, as cited and translated by Sport Witness. Gomez could be a good fit for Arsenal, who surely need to make some changes in midfield this summer amid some concern over Thomas Partey and Jorginho. Jorginho is not getting any younger and might not be a long-term option for Mikel Arteta's side, while Party has plenty of quality but a very poor recent injury record. Gomez looks like he could surely strengthen United as well, with the Red Devils surely needing a long-term replacement for the aging and out-of-form Casimiro, while one imagines Sofiane Mrabit won't be staying at the club permanently after joining on loan. Charles Watts has recently spoken exclusively to Cout Offside about the midfielders Arsenal like, mentioning big names like Douglas Luiz, Martin Zubimandi and Amado Onana, but Gomez certainly looks like he could be another fine option in that position. And if it were to come down to a choice of Arsenal or United, Gomez would surely choose the Emirates Stadium over Old Trafford due to the current trajectory of this respective projects at the moment, with Arteta turning the Gunners into a real powerhouse, while Man United are still a long way from being the force they used to be. As we wrap up today's Arsenal news, remember to stay tuned for daily updates right here on the channel. Don't miss out on the latest updates, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a like if you found this information valuable. Your support means the world to us. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.